The feedback sandwich is a particularly well-known model for giving performance feedback. But the problem is, it's deeply flawed. So in this video, I want to explain why you should never use the feedback sandwich and give you an alternative that works. First up, what is the feedback sandwich? Well, the feedback sandwich is a simple formulation that sandwiches critical feedback between two pieces of positive feedback. You tell them what they did well, then you hit them with all the changes they need to make, and then you remind them what they did well. And this formula works particularly well for new, inexperienced managers in giving them a bit of confidence that they know how to do it. Because obviously when we tell someone what they did well, they feel good. So they're gonna be listening to us. And then we hit them with the bad news and their mood drops, but we can pick them up again and leave the meeting with them feeling good again as you've reminded them about all the good stuff. So what's wrong with the feedback sandwich? Well, let's start with a simple fact. We tend to remember the last thing we hear which means it's very easy for them to go out of the meeting thinking, ah, everything is good. I started with the good news and I remember all the good news at the end. And their memory starts to fade about all the critical stuff. The feedback sandwich is all about making them remember the positive stuff and therefore creates the risk that they won't take action on making corrections that they need to take. But there's another problem with the feedback sandwich. It is so well known that many people will recognize it and they will just discount all of the positive messages as sugaring the pill. They won't hear the beginning stuff because they'll be waiting for the but. They'll be waiting for the critical stuff and having heard the critical stuff, they won't be listening to the positive stuff at the end. And therefore, as a result, they go away feeling like they've been beaten up. The feedback sandwich has the potential to leave people feeling either really good about all the good stuff and missing the bad stuff, or really bad about all the critical stuff and not hearing any of the positive stuff. Those are the two reasons why I think the feedback sandwich doesn't work and why you should never use it. So what's the alternative? The alternative is something that a friend and former colleague of mine described as the feedback burger. And the feedback burger is different from the feedback sandwich because unlike a sandwich, the top and the bottom of the bun are different. Once again, we start by giving the positive, supportive feedback that engages people. They want to hear it. They, they recognize all the good stuff from their own self-assessment and therefore they are willing to listen to you. And when you've given them good, positive feedback, they have started to trust that you have observed carefully because you've noticed things they've noticed and maybe you've even noticed things they haven't noticed. And that credit means that they will listen to you when you give them the honest, critical feedback. Give them the critical feedback completely and now you've got a balance. So how do you end the conversation in a positive, supportive way without making them forget all of the critical feedback? The bottom of the feedback burger bun is not reinforcing all the positive messages, it's reinforcing your support for them. You've done some great things and I'm supportive of that. And there are changes you need to make and I am supportive of your work to make them. I am supportive of you. The feedback burger offers an ending which does not diminish either the positive or the critical aspects of your feedback, but provides people with the confidence that regardless of where the balance lies between positive and critical feedback, you support them, you support them as a person, and you will support them in their work to make changes and improve their performance. I commend to you the Feedback Burger.
Please do give a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll be making loads more great management courses content for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.